Hi, I'm Larry Gaines from PowerCycleTrading.com. In this video, I want to show you a really major breakout or breakdown pattern that's uh, developed in IWM, the Russell 2000 ETF. So this is what we call a consolidation or a volatility squeeze. You can see these dots. That represents the squeeze pattern where price is consolidating, squeezing sideways, and eventually it'll break out either up or down from this kind of pattern. So very, very uh, specific pattern. Now, this pattern started and developed, uh, started developing in January of 2021. And you can see how it's just consolidated and flipped up to the high of 235 down to 208, just back and forth, back and forth for a full year. Now, we finally got a break of this trend line at 208 right here. This, this just happened yesterday. and We got a follow through today. So the trade setup we did was on a retracement back up here. We went short on the rebreak of 208. So let me show you what that means. So with a trend line break like this, so this trend line break of the support, it broke this yesterday. So it broke the 208 level that was going back all the way back to support to January 2021. So what I like to do is let it to retrace back, and if it fails, then that's probably a really good short. So prefer to you know not sell it on the break, but let it uh, retrace back up the next day or two or three days, whatever. So it retraced back up here today and then failed again and broke back to 208. So that was when we set up a short. But here's a really great way that we to short this trade with very low risk and really high return, and it's usually what we call a put butterfly. So I identified this pattern. I've been watching it for, you know, weeks at a time, but uh, looking at to see if it break 208. Now I've got a trading alert service and we sent out a, our sent out a trade alert to short this today. So this was based on that break and this was based on that pattern and the retracement and failure to it. So this was the trade setup. So short using a long put butterfly spread and that was done today 120 uh, 22. It was trading at 20665. So it had gone up to 208, failed there, and then when it broke back down below 208, we set this up and it was trading at 20665. So here was the trade. It says here January 20 says new IWM short trading at 20665. Buy to open a butterfly, the Russell 2000, 28 January, 205, 195, 185 at around $1.80. So first target 201, second target, the big target is 195. And uh, to, today it, it hit down, it hit lower than 201.30, but uh, we took some profits, sent out alert to start taking profit at that first profit target at, at 201. So currently at that point in time it was up about 100 to $111, and then the next target will be 195. So let's take a look at the trade setup. So this is one of my preferred ways to short because if you do get it wrong, you can really control risk. So this trade, this, the total risk uh, on this trade per contract is $177. So that would be equivalent to like 100 shares. So for example, if we're, we're targeting down to that price target 295, that should be 195. So we're targeting down to 195. And if the ETF itself went from 206.65 and it goes to, to 195, not 295, that would be $11.65 per share gain or a 5.6% return, okay? Now this is the great thing with, uh, with options and with the butterfly strategy. So instead of doing the shares or ETF for 100 shares per, uh, equivalent to, 100, to one option contract, we did a put butterfly. So bought the 205, sold the 195, sold the 195 again, bought the 185. So if you look at the spread width here, it's at $100 between or $10 between, which is $1,000. So the spread is $1,000 minus the cost. The cost of this trade was $1.77, where my pointer is, and the potential uh, uh, profit is 1,000 minus 177 would be 823. So this has a potential, theoretical, if it was to go out exactly at 195 on the 28th of January, it would make $465, uh, that's not percent. And uh, actually that that is percent. So it would make $823 per butterfly spread that's a 465% return, or you're risking a dollar to make 4.65. So that's the beauty of it. So instead of making 5.6%, you know, if it hits that target 195, you're going to make 495% plus your risk. You know, if you if you bought 100 shares here, your risk is over 20,000. Your risk here is $177. So here's where it went out today, and a quick profit uh, on a partial profit take right here. So today. 
Uh, we set up the short today, and today at the uh, towards the close, it made a low of two hundred and thirty-three, two hundred dollars and thirty-three cents. So based on when it was traded down here, took partial profit from profit target one. So here is trading down when it was trading down to two hundred point three three. It was right about here. We uh, t sent an alert to take partial profit. So it's trading right here at 200.66. At that point in time, you can see right here, that's where it was in time. Uh, this was up $111 per butterfly. So that would be like equivalent to if you did 100 shares, that would be up $111. So that's per option contract. So you can see it went from 177 or $177 per spread to 288, which is your $111 uh, per butterfly profit right here. And that is a 63% return in less than a, you know, in just one day intraday versus if you'd done shares, 100 shares, that would have been not even 1%. So that's the beauty of it. You're, you're taking advantage of time decay, volatility collapse, and a really high return on capital and very low risk, very low risk. $177 max risk. So I hope this helps. I hope you enjoy the video and make sure to join us at PowerCycleTrading.com.